New day, new rules. At least the tip's open. The idea is not that everyone goes to the tip this weekend. So you don't have to go today, it'll be there tomorrow and the day after and the day after and the day after. But still no one's doing much trade beyond the essential businesses as the government juggles a difficult balancing act. Some are very unhappy and I understand that. But we're not putting in place these measures because we feel like it. We're putting them in place to stop this outbreak from getting any worse. The ACT has so far had 237 cases in this outbreak, four have recovered, 10 are in hospital, one in intensive care. Listed public exposure sites now stand at 11 after three cases were linked to Gungalan restaurant Murchi. Today, the Bright Bay's Early Learning Centre cluster also increased by 6 to 21. A re-examination of the data has lifted the Fiction nightclub numbers to 45 and the Lennox Jaguar Land Rover dealership cluster is now 18. Not all the cases we are now seeing from many of these public sites of transmission are directly from the site, but are now from onward transmission to close contacts. And many of these are actually household contacts. For those in quarantine, it's been a rough trot. Like many others, we're now in day 16 of quarantine, owing to some sort of technical glitch. How many others are in this boat? There's been no communication on this from ACT Health. We've been working through a backlog of thousands and thousands of people. The advice I have this morning is it's down just to hundreds now and that there's a big callback exercise underway today. But there are concerns testing rates have fallen, with less than 3,000 tests yesterday. The government is urging those who need to be tested to come forward and for the rest of us to keep using the Canberra check-in app. The large number of close contacts that we've been able to identify is a testament to the usefulness and the team's ability to access that data really quickly. The government revealed new details today about plans for a mass vaccination clinic at the AIS ahead of an increase in supplies of vaccine. 60,000 appointments made for the Garen Search Centre will now be moved to the same time on the same day but at the AIS. Andrew Barr says the new clinic will be able to deliver up to 24,000 doses a week. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.